Okay, um, yeah, obviously a better better uh, game for us today, you know, score-wise. I thought the, the bats came alive, and um, after Garen got hit in the head, I think guys were, um, you know, we always talk about that when something like that happens, let's talk with our bats, and they did. They just kept adding on and adding on, so um, very impressive performance, and obviously Cam uh, was fantastic for us like he's been all year, so pretty much sums it up. Cam, do you uh, obviously, you know, once you have through those first two minutes, you can see what you really accomplish your team. What was, what kind of key for you in that uh, I mean, kind of just sticking to the process, I think. Uh, me and Dan's kind of have a very intricate plan that we use. Um, I think we were kind of found out early on that the breaking balls were going to be effective, and uh, if we use them in the right counts and the right ways, then we are going to be able to get a lot of guys out. Is, is it a cutter and a slider that you throw, or you just you kind of play <laughs> uh, I would say it's like a cutter and like a sweeper kind of. Um, yeah. And obviously, like, look at the cutter. Was that kind of like your go-to secondary pitch? Yeah, I mean, we, we worked on adding that up in the fall and stuff, and I think that it's really been effective. Uh, it takes takes them off the fastball, and then we also have the, the sweeper, the curveball, too, that also takes them off the cutter. So we all have, when we have them all, like we did today, it's just we're really effective. Is, is it challenging, you know, when you have to, not this, it's not a bad problem to have, but you have to sit around for, 14 batter hitting there. Uh, you know, how did you kind of stay with this? Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's I think it's tough either way. Your body just kind of thinks you're done and whatnot. And so, I mean, I have uh, just kept a couple of plyo balls and stuff in the locker or the dugout, and I was just throwing those and keeping my body moving. I wasn't trying to sit down a lot and just stay in that zone. And even though the score we were running it up, it just we were still treating it like a really close game. Coach, you've kind of talked the last couple of days about the playing game. Yeah, and, and I mean, you were really in position first. Right, no doubt. Is this kind of like almost like a cathartic kind of breakthrough? Oh, it's huge. It's huge for the guys because we talk about the process all the time, just sticking to it. And when you don't have the success that you want at the end, guys start to question a little bit. And they were, you know, we didn't start off great, you know, air, uh, ball, you know, pick off throw, throw away. And now all of a sudden, you know, we got the guy on third and camp strikes him out. That was huge for us. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was. I was really proud of the way they you know, got back together and, and, and started to, to get it going. But um, I, like I said, it's led by Ken because he's exactly right. When you have the, the big inning, 10 run inning like that, you know, who knows what's going to come out of that. Your body does sort of it, it thinks all I'm done. And, but he really sucked it up and he gave us um, six. Could have probably easily could have gotten seven for us. Um, we're glad to get Trevor Long in there and he looked good too. So that's important to us. And I want to ask you but Easton and Kane, yeah, it's good to maybe today. Obviously, physical, you know, you're looking for that. Yeah, what have you seen on those two kids so far? Yeah, well, obviously, Easton's pretty much played every day for us. Um, he's forced his way in the lineup, did not have a good fall for us at all. Made some adjustments after the fall uh, 20 hour period stopped, you know, we went to the eight hour period, made some adjustments with his swing, and uh, he came out the spring just gangbusters and forced his way in the lineup. Got really, really big upside with that bat, and then Andrew is just hard to get him in there with that lineup we have. Um, and he's another physical uh, you know, freshman that's going to hit for power in his career. He's going to be a really good player. We just kind of need to find a bats for all these guys. Cam, okay, I'm curious from the player perspective, how did you guys like being in Frisco, Texas this weekend? I think it was great. I think uh, that Thursday night it was a little rainy and whatnot, but once we got to the games, it was very sunny. The weather was great. I think it kind of I mean, it was like kind of like Tucson does, really. I mean, 80s, sunny. It was just really, it was really good weather. I loved it. Atmosphere, Yeah, I think uh, playing in stadiums like this is really cool. Um, I mean, you don't get the opportunity a lot, so you kind of embrace it and you're grateful for it. But um, just having all the fans and having that atmosphere, um, it's just, yeah, I mean, it's great, really. Thanks, awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Thank you. We'll see you.